So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to look at uh, something else related to classes. So, so far we've seen constructors, we've seen get and set functions, private um, versus public variables and functions. Uh, we've also seen how to overload operators as well. Uh, and what I want to do now is I want to give you an example of something called a friend function. And I've, I've already told you what a friend function is here in class, but it's basically a function that is not part of the class but is given special privileges with respect to um, being able to access private member variables or functions. So uh, before I show you how that would work, let's just consider this is equal function, which was basically just checking if some person was equal to the, the current person object. Let's look at how would we implement this if it wasn't a friend function, if we were just implementing this function outside of our class. So let's go down to the bottom here. I'm just going to build off of the previous class example three. I've renamed it example four. Um, if we go and look here, uh, where did we actually implement set is equal? There it is right here. There's our is equal function right here. This is is equal as a member function, which means it's part of the class. Let's actually now implement is equal as a non-member function, which means it's outside of the class. So if we wanted to implement this, we would want to return a Boolean, right? We want to do, let's do, um, do you want to, what do we want to do here? I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to say is equal to, just is equal to is going to have, what's the parameters it's going to have here? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to actually take in a person P1 and a person P2 because it's going to compare them, right? And just like here, we just returned if the first names were equal and the last names and so on, we can totally do that. Except, can we now access the first name of P1? We can't go P1 dot first name, can we? If we change these to P2s and we add P1s here, we can't do this, right? Why can't, what's wrong with this? Yeah? Right. Unlike is equal, which we see here was resolved to be a member of the person class, our is equal to function is actually just a regular function outside of the class. And it's comparing two objects of that class type. And first name, last name, and age are all what type of variables? They're private. And so we can't just access them directly. So for instead, what we have to do is we have to do get first name, just like we do for P2. We have to do get last name, just like we do for P2. And we have to do get age, just like we do for P2. So does this make sense? So you see the difference here, right? Uh, when, we do, when we do it externally, we can't actually rely on using any private member variables, and we have to pass both objects now. Any questions about this code? So let's go down in our main function here. If, like, we actually wanted to compare, instead of using... Um, star p1 equals star p2 here. If we wanted to compare these two and say if is equal, what would we have to do here? We pass in, well in this case we're comparing it to itself, but um, we could we would have to pass in both things we want to compare here. 
um, as parameters, right? If is equal, and it will display up P2 is equal to it is the same as itself. So let's actually save this and compile and see if this works. This is example four. So we compile it. Oh, we've got an error. Is equal to. Declare it here. What did I do wrong? Oh, did I write is equal? The other thing is you may notice here, I also should just point this out. Normally I would have actually declared this separately up top and put, so normally what I would do is I would declare this here by putting semicolon and then put the definition below the main. I only put it up here because I wanted you to be able to see it side by side with this function. So normally because this is an external, this is a function that's not part of a class, I would actually declare it above the main and put the definition below the main just like we normally would. Um, so yeah, so I had just, I had actually called it is equal to is what I needed to put here. So that was my fault. I just had a typo. So this should be is equal to. And now if I compile it, it compiles. And if I run it, I see that, yeah, it says that P2 is the same as itself, which is what we were doing here, right? So that works. So that's the, de that's the de distinction between implementing is equal as a member function, a public function inside the class, and implementing it as a non-member function outside the class. But it turns out there's actually, it's sort of a gray area, but it turns out there's actually something that you can do uh, in between these two. So what you can actually do here is you could actually have a function that's outside the class, but that can also access the private member variables. And those are called friend functions. So if we actually listed is equal three as a friend function, we're going to have the same format P1, P2. We're going to do it just like that. So this is basically exactly the same as or is equal to, but instead we're going to list it as a friend inside the class. Okay. Everybody with me? Okay. So if we actually went down here and where we have our is equal to, if we actually created an is equal, we did our is equal three as a non member function that is a friend of the person class. Okay? We're going to implement that as a non-member function that's a friend. So um, just like we did uh, before, we've listed up there that it's friend. So that just gives it special privileges. So if we now go is equal three, which has a person P1, person P2, right? You with me? Great. So now we could still do this exactly the same, right? Return P1 get name and get last name. I just cut and pasted from the equal to. We could still do this, right, and call all those external functions. That still works. But because we listed this as a friend function, we no longer need to use these. So instead, we can go P1.firstName directly equals P2.firstName. And instead of doing dot get last name, we can go p1 dot last name directly and p2 last name. And instead of doing dot get age, calling the function, the public function, we can access the private member age directly as well. So this is the is equal three. Now, if we actually, so all we've done, all the is equal as a friend function, it can access the private member variables instead of having to use the public functions. Even though it's not part of the class, it still has access to the private members. Okay? So, if we went down in our main function now, and instead of running is equal to, 
we ran is equal 3, we can see this work. And in fact, it says that it's the same. And you might say, great, you just showed me two ways of doing the exact same thing. I don't see what the benefit of the friend is. Right? Well, in this case, in our is equal, if we look at these two differences here, the is equal to as being just a regular non-member function and is equal three as being an, also a non-member function, but one that's a friend of the class, the big difference is, is that it can access these variables directly. And in our case, because we're just reading them, there's not a ton of benefit here. Uh, but where the benefit of friend functions come in is in, I would say, is in two main areas. One of them is as a performance benefit. So you can access, there's a slight performance benefit of if you're doing a lot of access to the private member variables, instead of having to do the indirection of calling the get and set functions to make changes or to read variables, you can access and read them directly. So it's slightly faster than the is equal to because you're accessing the variables directly instead of using a function to access them. Does that make sense? So there's a slight performance benefit. But the big benefit of it is, is when you have variables that you want to actually modify in some way or use in a way that isn't provided for by the public functions. So if the public functions, for example, <coughs> maybe what I want to do here is I want to actually, you know, if I wanted to have a function which allowed me to um, change people's names, so um, maybe reformat them so that all last names are, oh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But if there was something I wanted to do with these names or print them out in a special format or something, I could access them directly and I could maybe manipulate the variables in a way that wasn't allowed for by the public member variables or functions. So there are benefits to this. And I'm going to show you another example of this in just a second. Um, but that just shows you a little bit about an introduction to what a friend function is and how it's different from a regular non-member function.